Hello and welcome to Meet the Artist. I am Jana Lasort, your host, and I am here tonight with a wonderful lady and friend. She's her her motto these days is same woman, new name. The name Mona Lisa, gallery and framing. The woman, Krista Fahey. <laughs> Hi, Krista. Thanks for Hi. coming back. Thank you. Now, Mona Lisa, gallery and framing. I know that this has been a work long in the plans for you yes. in terms of taking your growing business and giving it a, a new spin. Uh, you, you've always inspired me with your excitement for what you do. Can you tell us a little bit about how this idea came about? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's right now it's the most exciting thing that I, in my business for me, is because I, have an, I had a name, Classic Design Framing, which uh, I've been building on for about three years, and um, I want to do a second location next year, so oh, wow. I needed to look at the effectiveness of the name that I had, building a logo out of that name, mm -hmm. and this is a real business side of business, so this is, you know, what I do is very creative, but there is a business side to business that you have to be real uh, focused on, and that yeah. is, how do you get a logo to sell what you do? And in the name that I had, there wasn't anything to be pulled out of it. So we looked at, we asked somebody professionally to come down, take a look at what I do, and he came up with this logo that says yeah. it all. I mean, it's it's a great idea. It just, I think it's really going to be so marketable, it especially is. with your second location. And it, I think what I like about it so much is Mona Lisa, very distinctive, memorable woman, just like yep. you are. Yep. <laughs> And, you know, and there's something fun about the Mona Lisa. I, we still don't know what it is. Her there's a mystery to her. her mystery, yes. right. She's the most recognized woman in the world. Yes. Um, and she's, when you think of her, you think of art. When you think of the frame, you think of framing. Right. And the two are married together. Absolutely. And you, you know, I, I've told you this before, but one of the things that I really try to emphasize on this show, Meet the Artist, is that the artists aren't just painters and poets and singers. Artists are also architects and furniture designers and jewelry makers, and in my opinion, you qualify as an artist with, or an artiste, with your very creative take on framing. And I know that you brought us some samples today um, that I kind of want to work through uh, in a few minutes, um, but I also want to bring up that our show tonight is focused on the studio tour. Uh, there is the famous Soma Artist Studio Tour that uh, has been running since 2003, and Mona Lisa Gallery and Framing is one of the big sponsors yeah, this we're year. You are the gold sponsor. You are the gold sponsor. Yeah. Now, when did you become involved with the Studio Art Tour? Uh, since the first year. 2003? No, I take that back. It was the second year because okay. I had just opened that year. So the sec I've been the gold sponsor for the last three years. Oh, wow. Um, Fleet Bank, I think, was the first sponsor. Okay. And uh, I just think it makes sense to have the gallery of the area. Yes. That's, that's focusing on supporting the visual arts. I do, you know, 12 shows a year, well, six shows a year, but I, I show up to, you know, I've had 60 artists. In the 60 last, artists through. Yeah, in the wow. last two and a half years. And that's locally, regionally, and now I've got Manhattan artists. But, you know, the key thing is, is supporting these artists, supporting the visual arts, and really dedicating... Uh, and making them, helping them be successful. It's a, it's a great partnership. So it makes sense to me to have the gold sponsor be a part of that. Yes, no, absolutely. And last year, when I came to your gallery on the studio tour, I came across Maria Siegenthaler, who is with us in the studio tonight. I want to point her out, her workout. Hello, Maria. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Thanks for being with us tonight. Thank you for having me. Now, you are over in our conservatory working yes. on a, a piece in motion, right? Right. Can you tell us a little bit about last year I stumbled across you in front of Mona Lisa, what, what will now be Mona Lisa Gallery and Framing, and I was really stunned by the intensity of detail in your home portraits. How, how did you get started and how did you meet Krista? Well, I got started in high school when I would not be taking notes, I would be drawing houses. I mean, that's this is what I've always, always done when I have, have drawn. And I met Krista actually at the studio tour. Oh, that's three years fantastic. Ago. Good. Uh, that was the first time I came through the gallery. And I have, um, uh, my relationship with uh, the gallery has just been wonderful. It's, it's a, um, uh, everything that I do um, seems to go hand in hand with the kinds of things that they do, and 
I feel like I benefit them and they benefit me. Really well, and it was well. just so much fun. You had a little crowd around you, and, and, and I was there too. I was in the crowd watching you work, and we're thrilled that you're going to be at work here tonight. We'll check back with you a little later. But before we do that, I do want to point out that you have a wonderful calendar, Portraits of Maplewood Village right. of 2007. And is that available for purchase at yep. Mona Lisa Gallery? Mm -hmm. Okay, great, Krista. We'll check back in with you, Maria. Well, thank you very okay. much. <laughs> <laughs> now, we are going to take one of Maria's works, though, and look at the different ways that framing can change the effect, right, right? the right. impact of the piece. So here's one of Maria's works. Um, Maria paints does portraits of homes in, in South Orange and Maplewood yep. and uh, this one is Wyoming Avenue in Maplewood so can you show us an example of you know how someone could think about framing this for different effects sure well, I mean when someone walks into my gallery the first thing that we ask them is wall color uh -huh. issues mm -hmm. so because the last thing you want to do you want to clash with with a wall color and today people are really excited about putting color on their walls yes. they always have it, it's the, the three shades of white are are over with, mm -hmm. which is great, mm -hmm. but as, as a designer, you have to be aware of that, and it's just like a decorator. So um, this is a new color this year, which I love. It's got, it's an old but new color, and a lot of people are hitting earthy colors, you know, and this will just weight the painting or the image. It'll weight it where, so, that, so that the image will then lift out. Okay. Now, lighter colors will sort of just wash away. You're not going to have a lot of lift. It's more... Um, it's like a blank canvas. And this is actually influencing this painting, and it's it's going to hook into the deeper, darker tones. Right. Then if you go even darker, you see how it lifts it even more. Oh, wow. Yeah, that pops the red. And then you can have, you can add a fillet. Now, any line of sight, and this is also in advertising, anything in a box pops. Well, okay. that's what happens even with a fillet. Because you end up boxing it. Yeah, okay. but it also adds this decorative beading effect around the... the, the, uh, the, the painting. Mm -hmm. And usually what we do is then we tie it in with... A frame and so they both so all of that other. could be surrounding this piece yep so that's three different pieces that are framing Maria's work yeah wow yeah that's really interesting and and not to forget that framing as decorative as it can be it is a source of preservation it is mm -hmm. we are preserving artwork you know we conservators exist because you know 30 40 years ago nobody really thought about the preservation of art right. and that's why they're here today this they're preserving priceless pieces of you know Christie's, all that jazz, but as framers today, everything's archival, everything's asset free, mm -hmm. and then the handling of the artwork is just as important. So this is an original painting, it would be handled like as original work of art, well, not a poster. And, and, and speaking of that, another good thing that I, I believe is starting to get more popular is the, the, the glass, like treating the yep. glass so that it does protect the work from sun damage, from, is that absolutely. right? Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. So we and also glare-free glass, yep. okay. Museum glass is just incredible glass and I, I, I sell a lot of it because it has glare properties, anti-glare properties and UV properties but it's it's as clear as you can get. I mean it's um, just beautiful gl beautiful glass, you, you, you don't lose any color and uh, it's just it's like you could touch it. So yeah today mm -hmm. and they got better at making it so it's um, a little more affordable right. um, not just for museums so yes. now everyone can take part in it and uh, hang anything anywhere they need to without any fear right. of, of bleeding or, or losing image or or dam sun damage. Yeah. So now I want to show this piece um, as an example, and hopefully there's not too much glare going on. Uh, let me know if I need to shift it. But this piece I love because it is sort of done in a shadow box style yep. a bit. I don't know if I have that right, but you know, you've taken someone's, I, I assume, mother or grandmother, and and you've and you've put in the brooch. Yes. Now, I don't know if this was the idea of your customer, but I know, Krista, in taking some of my pieces to you in Maplewood uh, at Mona Lisa Gallery and Framing, that you have wonderful ideas about how to incorporate different pieces, whether it's a fabric, whether it's, right. you know, a memento. How did this come about? Well, this photo, she's wearing that, but she's wearing the pin, which is so in the photo. rare. I mean, that when you have these two together, so she's wearing wow. the pin. And the thing about this pin is, I didn't want to put any um, adhesive or mm -hmm. tie anything onto it, mm -hmm. so I made, I thought, I was actually in the fabric store, right? And I'm thinking, I want to back this with something nice. And then I saw the little pin um, cushion. cushion that oh, they had, so and I said, a pin Bingo. cushion, that's it. So I pillowed it out. And I just said, I'm just going to use it a pin cushion, that, and then that's, that's it. And it turned out beautifully. Yeah. And, and you, you have the scroll work on the glass, yep. which is a really nice touch. And, the, and this is um, glass etching. 
Uh -huh. And then now the thing about these two openings, heart, oval, that is done by a computerized mat cutter, which I have. It's called the Wizard, and you can do all kinds of oh, different really? cuts. And so that's how that's done. You would never get it done by hand. You could never get it that exact. So now we have a limitless, you know, um, creativity as far as mat openings, multi mat openings, and that's it's a double mat, double opening with glass etching and it's a shadow box and it's an object so it is a shadow it's box. It's beautiful and it had to be so and, happy And in addition that. to that, I forgot to tell you, is yes. that you can get to this pin. So if you have a collection that you need to get to, oh, you can open the, back. the front comes off so it's a oh, double stack frame so you can get nice. to it, wear it, get it cleaned. And I did notice that you put this beautiful fabric yeah. backing uh, on, on the back of the, the piece. So, I mean, you could even hang it this way. <laughs> Oh, that's really beautiful. And, you know, again, when you go down to Mona Lisa Gallery and Framing, you're going to be knocked uh, off your socks. Your socks will be knocked off by some of the creative options. Uh, I just, this one I love. The, the frogs. frogs. Are great. Yeah, I mean, look at this. This, you know, and you have leather, you have actually wood. I yeah. know that when I came in a while back, uh, you had a piece that was framed in uh, actual live wood birch, like mm -hmm. um, twigs, yes. sort of, you know? And it's just, it really opened my eyes, Krista, to how we all can be creative with, you know, our framing and really, you know, really accent our pieces much more artistically. You know, it's, it's not, I agree, it's not the um, black, silver, and gold basic frames right. that people would, because when someone comes in and says, I just want to put a black frame on right. this, then I can say, well, let's, let's try something else and sort of bring them into a world without being intimidated and say, there's more we can do with this. And, mm -hmm. and um, and then the fun begins. Yes. So, you know, and then we have finished corner frames, which is a totally different mm -hmm. level. I mean, you mm -hmm. have this is um, replicas of turn of century frames. This is gold leaf, mm -hmm. uh, offset corner frames. Mm -hmm. um, great for mirrors, but anything else. Mm -hmm. And then um, every solid, solid wood. So if you're someone that has more of a, you know, shaker style or right. Christian style flavor. Well, I, if, you know, I know that uh, we're in the second segment, we're going to talk more about the studio tour, but before we get there, I do want to mention your Doorways project, yeah. because this is something you've also become quite known for. How did this come about? Okay, so back in 84, 87, um, Karen Duncan and Robin Hutchins did a version of Doorways in Maplewood, mm -hmm. and it was, very, it was a poster, mm -hmm. and it did great. And I think even, um, uh, I think Remax has an old one, one of yes. the versions on their wall. Mm -hmm. So I'm in Madison. I, re I, I meet this artist, um, Carolyn Touchman, and she, of Collage It. Mm -hmm. And she did, she's done Madison. She's done uh, Chatham. She's done all the Ivy League all the series. Doorways. doorways. So she yes. shoots them. Yeah, and, and I saw this and I said, you know, that is fantastic. It's mm -hmm. such, an, such a unique spin. She came to Maplewood. She, she, used to li she lived here years ago. Mm -hmm. And she just had so much fun driving around. She selected the doors that she liked. Mm -hmm. And she created this. this and this is beautiful. And, and this can be purchased at Mona Lisa Gallery yes. and Framing, right? Okay. Anytime. Anytime. And now. it's a limited edition. Okay. Signed a number limited edition. So anyone watching, please go into Mona Lisa Gallery and Framing. You can purchase the Maplewood Doorways, which is really uh, a motif all of us seem to have uh, as, as part of our pride in our, in our community. Also, the Maria Siegenthaler. And we should check in to see what she's doing over there before we leave, if we can take a look at that. Um, Maria Siegenthaler's yes. Portraits of Maplewood Village, the calendar, and also you do have occasional like jewelry mm -hmm. on, uh, available for purchase. I know you had these wonderful Honduran shoes one time. The Moroccan the shoes. The Moroccan shoes. Yeah, which was now, fun. before we leave, MonaLisaFraming.com is your new website, yes. and that's active and live. Not not just in yet. The May, yeah, May first, we're looking to get everything switched over. We're okay. in the transition right now. Okay. And what is your next big show coming? May tenth. May tenth. Uh, uh, Cecily Barth Firestein. She is from Manhattan, and fantastic art. I mean, you wait till you see it. You are absolutely going to love it. It's uh, wow. fantasy and humor and mixed media and acrylic paint and monotypes all put together. And now Manhattan is clamoring yeah. to be shown yeah. at Mona Lisa. So excited for it. In Maplewood. Well, thanks, Krista. Thank you. It's always fun to hang out with you. All right, Maria, what do you got going over there? I, I think I'm just progressing. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for being here with us, too. Oh, well, thank you for having me. We'll keep looking. Okay. 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 We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Meet the Artists. I'm your host, Jana Lasort, and tonight we're talking about the studio art tour, the artist studio tour of SOMA. It is a wonderful opportunity to get out there in our community in both South Orange and Maplewood and explore not only our town, but 
more creatively are artists at work, many of them in their own homes. Tonight, I have with us Liz LeClaire. Liz LeClaire is the co-chair of the Artist Studio Tour this year. Hi, Liz. Hi. And also sitting with you is Michael Frank, a board member of Gallery 1978, and an artist, we should point out, a very distinguished art artist. And will your work be part of the studio tour this year? Actually, I was planning on it, but I had to pull out because my son Dylan is going to be in a concert at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center. Wow. We'll plug for my son on the 3rd. Well, right. and we, hopefully, I have regular viewers of Meet the Artist because if you've watched before, you've seen Dylan on our show with his percussion with Red. ensemble, Red, Red, which is fantastic. So he's a percussionist for the, the, big, the big concert, New Jersey's uh, Youth Symphony. Mm -hmm. And he's doing it at 3 o'clock, and I can't be in two places at once. So. Well. So I'm, I'm being you a dad made the wise choice to do that. Right? <laughs> but Gallery 1978 is one of the site locations for the Artist Studio Tour. Right. And can we talk about a little, I know that Gallery 1978 was one of the founders of the tour. How did it come to be? In 2003, I think it was, we uh, got wind of the Montclair Artist Studio Tour. And people came in and said, this is very exciting. It's the whole town generated. Uh, people come out, people visit studios. Let's do it. Why not? Yeah. So we uh, said, let's involve Piero Gallery, called Judy Wukic, mm -hmm. got her on board, okay. and it made it happen. We made it happen. And that was, was 2003, 2003. Right? And this okay. is our, so far in our fourth year. In, now. Our, in the fourth year. And Liz, when did you become involved? Last year, 2006. Okay. And was that uh, as an organizer? Uh, yeah, last year I had been on the tour for the first two years. and um, uh, As an it, artist? No, 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 no. Okay. As a... Uh, Viewer, yeah, okay. viewer. Walker around. Walker around Walker her. Around her. Like myself. Driver around with the okay. map. And um, I thought it was the most exciting thing I'd done in Maplewood and South Orange. And so I was excited when they were looking for other people to help with the tour. You know, that's a really good point I want to make is that I, when I moved here from Brooklyn and learned about the studio tour coming up, I was so excited because I thought, wow, this is really a place that I'm going to enjoy living in. You know, just to know that there would be this map, and it, it was like a whole treasure right. quest. You know, you didn't know what you were going to stumble uh -huh. across. You know, I came across Maria Siegenthaler, who's with us tonight. Maria Siegenthaler, pardon me, Maria. And we're going to check in on her home portrait work. Uh, she draws portraits of homes in South Orange and Maplewood, and I'm sure any other town uh, that would like to ask her. Um, right. So we'll check in on her work right now. Uh, she represents a number of the great artists who are on the tour. A wide variety, home portrait artists such as Maria, right. although she may be the only one. Are you the only one, Maria? I believe so. But I don't want to... Yeah. I'm and not sure, but I believe so. But certainly we have painters on the tour. There are photographers, sculptors, sculptors. jewelers. Printmakers. Jewelers, too. Uh -huh. Oh, that's great. I didn't remember that. Ceramics, uh, sculptors. Ceramics, that's right. Amy Goat is a great ceramicist. Oh, She's yes. Wonderful. No, she, I bought three pieces, actually, when I came across her on the studio tour in 2004. Uh -huh. She's yeah. great. Yeah. And what, now I know a big difference with this year is a website, right. which is very exciting. StudioTourSoma.org. How does, how, you know, how are you using the website to really up this entire well, it's experience. like a virtual tour of the artists. You, you can click on the artist's name, get to their page, see their work, and then if they have a website separate from this, you can link to that. Okay. Also, for the first time, we're creating a, a, a web, pa web pages for artists who are not in the tour, so you can see even more artists in Maplewood and South Orange. Oh, that's terrific. Now, what kind of turnout, Liz, do you, are you looking to have this year? Thousands. Thousands? No. <laughs> We're hoping. <laughs> We're hoping. Yes, let's hope. Um, Why not? Usually it's a, you know, a maybe 400 or so. Okay. Um, but we'll we'll see. We're hoping to get more this year. And how many it artists are on the every year? It, I think it does too. How many yeah. artists are on the tour total? Uh, so far, I think we have almost 50. Okay. Okay, that's fantastic. Yeah. And this year, for the first time, very neat addition to feature artists who may not be able to participate on the tour for some right. reason. Right. Right. So that's great. Um, like me. At, has there been any indication that the artists are really appreciating this opportunity to get more awareness of their work, to sell their work? I think so. Well, the hope is there, that, that they can sell their work. There are some artists who have work that is more sellable, mm -hmm. price-wise and size-wise. Right. But it's difficult to expect to sell the work. The, the, the main thrust 
for me as an artist would be to have the work exposed, people to come in, see the work, uh, comment on it, uh, maybe see you demonstrate, you know, watch you paint, and see how you, how you develop what your process is about, how you develop a work of art like what we're seeing here, mm -hmm. and that's really exciting for a lot of people. And and some people are, are looking for things to hang up in their living room or whatever. So it's 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 something for everyone. Absolutely. Now it's June. Well, can you give us the dates and the times? June third. 11 to 5. 11 to 5. And mm -hmm. I have to say, in my experience with the tour, every year I am thwarted. You know, I have a, a big you can't see dream all. list of, of seeing all of these artists. And it never fails. At like 4.59, I'm racing to the next one, trying to just we squeeze in good, another artist. What's a good idea is to, um, you can go ahead of time and preview some of the artwork. Excellent. On the website. Excellent. That's well, the, the whole website. Yeah. That's going to help also, And also at... Piero and um, 1978, you can look at the art. That's a really good point, Liz. And circle on the map the things you want to see first okay. that might be your favorite. Okay, that's a so really good point. Well, we'll have our 8.5 by 11 boards of people's, of one piece of oh, each person, each artist, okay. their name, their address, and whether they have refreshments or not. At the so this is interesting. So in South Orange at the Piero, you'll have uh, one work that represents each of the South Orange mm -hmm. artists. A reproduction in the tour. of a right, work. And Maplewood. And in Maplewood at the 1978, yeah. at Gallery 1978, you'll have one work to represent each of the Maplewood right. artists. All of them that's are in both places. Okay. Yeah. So you can, if you if, if you like abstract nice. work, you pick your abstract. That's lovely. You know, people, if you like realistic work, you pick them, and then you just ch -ch -ch, you know check them off and go. Oh, that's perfect. That's and a great uh, strategy. I'm gonna employ that this year. Uh, it'll I, work. Uh, Last year, I went around with my video camera and tried to videotape as many artists as I could, and I think I only got about a dozen, because there's so much, you know, acreage to cover. Well, I'm happy you mentioned video because uh, we want to check in on Maria Siegenthaler one last time to see how her work has progressed during our time here tonight. And uh, while we do that, I want to set up the fact that we have a wonderful video uh, to represent some of the artists you'll see on the tour when you go out on June 3rd from 11 to 5. And make sure you visit uh, studiotoursoma.org, studiotoursoma.org, the brand new website to represent the artist studio tour of Soma. Definitely go out. It's a highlight of the summer and really also kicks off the season. So thanks for being with us tonight, and Michael Frank, Liz LeClaire, thank thanks. you. Great success. And next year, Michael, I think you need to be on the tour I as an artist. To be. Don't you think? <laughs> yes, I think so. <laughs> thanks. I will. And Maria, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. And we can find Maria through MonaLisaGallery.com. And I assume that she will be right out front of the Mona Lisa door again this year. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> and the artists will be scrolled at the end of the show, at the end of the movie, the video. Absolutely. At, uh, stay tuned after the video and you'll see all the credits and the list of the artists who are involved, which you can also find at studiotoursoma.org. Good night. Hi, I'm Evelyn Graves, South Orange artist. Hi, I'm Kathy Clark. My name is uh, Nave Benadine. My work is mostly about abstract figurative. I'm Laura Levy. Hi, I'm Barbara Lobby. My name is Florence Wynn. My name is Bill Stahl. Hi, I'm Lavette Ballard. My name is James Collum. Hi, I'm Joan Goldsmith. My name is Phyllis Carlin. My name is Rick Parker. And yeah. your work is about? I don't understand what it's about. Bill Figdor. I'm Larry Dell. And I'm the uh, sculptor of these works. I'm John Kaufman, the John Kaufman. I did this piece called Democracy 2006. See, and, and this is not even this is not even copyrighted. And yet, ladies and gentlemen, this is the wave of the future. And if nobody came to my studio, the studio tour would be a good thing for me because I can be in my studio for seven or eight hours and not feel guilty. <laughs> in fact, I had to pay to be in the studio. It's okay. I'm 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 really. I, but I mean that seriously. Hi, I'm Christine Cruz. I'm an assistant professor at Seton Hall University. Hi, I'm Mike Bond. I'm Roberta Reynolds, and this is my work. My name is Karen Bokert, and I'm a Maplewood painter. My name is Ami Kirko. I am Fran Wilner, and I'm a multimedia old artist. is my life It's not what it was before All these feelings I've shared And these
days are my dreams that I've never lived before. Somebody shake me, cause I, I must be asleep. And what do you think of the studio tour in general? I think it's great. I think I just recently moved to Maplewood and I can't believe the quality of the people's work. It's, it's just wonderful. Then when I feel like it's finished or it doesn't need to, there's nothing else that needs to be added, I just stop and I start on something else. I do paintings and ceramic and printmaking. The paintings are done by of people doing everyday things. The ceramic is all fantasy. I just let the clay take me wherever it wants to take me. And the printmaking is more complicated. I do a drawing and then I, I work on it and hand color it.